Good morning everybody, welcome to Logan. Now that we've got a nice sunny day, I thought I'd take a minute and uh, show the gauges that I've wired up for my solar panel. So, uh, apologize for the video in the driveway here, but it's uh, about noon on a Tuesday, so I thought I'd bust this out quick. So if you look up here, you can see the solar panel sits on top of the roof. It's 160 watt, and it runs back here. Underneath the uh, tent here, I have this kind of large box that hangs underneath. Part of it is in this drawer. In this drawer is the solar controller right there. And it takes the uh, charge from the solar panel and distributes it to the battery as needed. So if you can see here, the battery light is blinking. That means the battery is fully charged. And so it's just in a state of uh, float right now. So if you look at my gauges here, so right now we are making hardly any solar at all. 1.5 amps, give or take. That's just because the sun's at quite an oblique angle this time of year. Uh, the truck is not oriented to maximize it here in the driveway anyway. But that being said, we don't need a whole lot. So today, this just measures uh, accumulated charge for the current and the power, the watts. So, uh, excuse me, this is, the energy is the accumulated watt hours. This is currently how much is being sent to the battery bank, both amps and watts. Notice the comparison between what the solar is producing versus what's being sent to the battery is quite a bit different, but that's just because there's no really charging needs at the moment. Then I also have a discharge gauge, which currently I'm not discharging anything um, and you'll notice my discharge rate accumulated is pretty low, but you know this time of year uh, in the winter the fridge Which just sits right here doesn't use much power at all, so uh, That's why it's not a big deal that I'm not making much power because I'm just frankly not using much Now the batteries also charge when the truck is running uh, But that's not captured by these gauges here so anyway, that's my gauge setup to keep an eye on the batteries and what the solar is doing. Then I just have a little temperature gauge here. I don't know why the camera won't pick that up very well, but it's uh, currently 40 degrees. It doesn't flash like it seems to in the camera. Anyway, so over here in this drawer, the only reason this is a drawer is so that I could put lights underneath it. Because I put my stove here on the tailgate and... Uh, having lights over the stove is actually a lot more useful than having lights behind the stove. So that's the only reason it's a drawer, but then it has a stereo here, a couple outlets, and uh, lights for the uh, water pump. The This is just the 12 volt light that turns on the gauge, these outlets, and then uh, also provides power to the stereo. And then the lights turns on, I have some lights under here. In the back and then I also have like these little guys here that just provide a little bit of ambient camp light. This big light back here is uh, my dust light or chase light. It's uh, red and yellow and clear and strobe so no one will run into me when it's all dusty out. And then over here you turn these latches And inside this compartment, I'll kind of back up so you can maybe see it a little better. So here's my fuse block, along with some additional outlets. Uh, these are here for better access to the tent, uh, should I need to power something in the tent. This is where I store my camp table. Slides in there. Uh, this is blocked off on the bottom here because under there are just the speakers. So there's the uh, back side of the speakers and the speaker wire. And then this is just a storage drawer I put here. Uh, generally this is where my wife and or daughter will keep their uh, clothing for a trip. Uh, I try and limit uh, the amount of excess stuff we take. So generally speaking, if they can't fit it in here, they can't bring it. And then this light under here, just a LED light strip is on this contact switch right here 
So here's the upper part, here's the other part, and when that closes, you'll see that light go off. Open up, it comes on, closes, goes off. So anyway, that's the new tent rack, as well as some information about my solar and battery gauges. It's all relatively new. I've got just about all of it tied up, but just a few odds and ends I still have to do, but that's uh, that's basically it. If you have any questions, go ahead and uh, leave a comment. Thanks.